Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to another video. We're going to be bringing you today talking about Dragon Ball Super and more specifically future trunks or whichever trunks we've been seeing as of late in these next episode previews and the one that we know is going to be coming very soon for this next upcoming future trunks arc. And basically we're going to be talking about today in this video, which trunks exactly is it? Because there's a lot of speculation out there saying that maybe this trunks is not the one that we saw in the Cell Saga, the one that came back in time originally to bring peace to his future, maybe it's a different one. And to help me discuss this topic, I'm going to introduce someone who you all know very well by now, and we did another video over on his channel talking about whether or not we think that Bulma might actually die in this upcoming arc, and his name is... Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh from Dragon Ball Nation here. So Josh, you know, as I said before, there's so many people out there who are saying maybe this Trunks is from a different timeline, maybe it's the same trunks from our timeline, the main timeline that we know very well at this point in time. What do you think about all of these different criticisms? What do you think the evidence to support it would be and maybe the evidence against it? What do you I, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day for me, I look at this and I think it would be very unwise to promote this as future trunks when in fact it wouldn't be future trunks at all. We see that Mai is in this timeline and you know we've talked about that it wouldn't really make sense for them to have wished, you know, it's implied that they wished for their youth to peel off Yang before Battle of Gods. Now, maybe that was different in Trunks' timeline, who knows, but we also see that Bomo's working on that one little machine that she had there, Yeah, uh, that we saw in Super, but... The one that Monaka was helping her out with, with this kind of sludge machine. Right. We don't know if she didn't have that already in a Trunks' timeline. That's really an element that you could say that, that could have been there regardless, I feel like. Yeah. The my thing is I think the real thing that people would focus on, which I can see that. There was a thing said by Toriyama when this arc was getting promoted when he was talking about the time travel and he said that there will be some inconsistencies so this could be one of those, but I think the evidence that would support this is Future Trunks is A, why would they be promoting it as Future Trunks if it wasn't the Future Trunks we knew and saying Future Trunks returns when this is a different Future Trunks? Because if this was the Future Trunks from, let's say, the Trunks we know from Super, that's a different character completely. Not to mention the summary for episode 47 and other promotional material says, after the defeat of the androids and Cell, the world was at peace. Why in the world would they talk about the androids and sell if it was the super trunks they would have been talking about the boo saga or anything else but the fact that they focus on the androids and sell the characters which trunks protected his timeline from that's the real giveaway for me and again promotional material here why would they be promoting a different trunks when they know everyone's going to want to see the future trunks from the cell saga it's the only logical choice for me exactly and to take what you just said a step further in the next episode preview that we saw from the latest episode of dragon ball Super, when Trunks is discussing exactly what happened, he said, we haven't seen each other in a long time after I killed Cell and the Android. So he's basically already saying he killed Cell and the Androids. He saved his time and brought peace to his future. So automatically, we immediately say, well, that's obviously the future Trunks we already came to know in the Cell Saga, because the current Trunks from our main timeline, unless they're going to revive those characters and then Trunks is going to kill them somehow, did not do that. It's only future Trunks who did that, and that was the end and the payoff to the Cell Saga in the first place, Trunks going back and actually doing what he set out to do in the beginning that set the entire arc in motion. The only thing, again, bring it up would have to be Mai, and we have to wonder why exactly is she, you know, close to Trunks' age, because Mai should be older than Bulma right now. Well, Bulma looks pretty young still. She's got that one little wrinkle. <laughs> That's their only telltale sign that she's older, and she should be in her late 50s right now. Exactly. So either Trunks is totally fine with, uh, you know, banging an older woman, you know, he's he's on the prowl, <laughs> I guess. Like that. Or Trunks, you know, somehow this Mai became young in the future Trunks timeline as well. And to our knowledge, this only happened when they wished upon the dragon to make them young before Battle of Gods, shortly before it. As opposed to saying happened 10 years before that or whenever it's supposed to take place. So that seems like a kind of an inconsistency. Right. Well, the only thing I can think of, and maybe I'm wrong on this with my knowledge of time, travel but you know when 19 was you know made for our timeline you know how the timelines diverged maybe at some point before 18 showed up because there was that gap maybe at some point Pilaf and the gang made the wish in Trunks's timeline but in our timeline that changed I mean it makes sense because of the fact that 
There are a number of times that the Z Fighters did use the Dragon Balls that the Peel-Off Gang might not have had access to using them as well. Although, again, you know, when exactly would they have been able to make this wish? Right. Because it must have happened before Piccolo died, or else they could not have used the Dragon Balls. And Piccolo died when Trunks was a baby. Well, inconsistencies is strong in Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think that both of us have pretty much showed that this Trunks must be the future Trunks that we already know. And Without a doubt. It definitely has to be. So let us know your own thoughts down below. Do you know this already? Do you think that it still is another future Trunks? And please explain why if you do believe that. Don't just say, oh, it isn't. I disagree with you. <laughs> and don't forget, of course, to check out the video I was on on Josh's channel in which we were talking about if future Bulma is going to die in Dragon Ball Super. And as I always say, stick around because there's a lot more to come in the future. <laughs> And you better subscribe. I'll do it now, you bitch.